Let's face it, we live in a processed food nation. It's convenient, it's cheap, and frankly, it's delicious. But like that X you just can't quit, processed food can be incredibly bad for you. We're talking heart disease, obesity, diabetes, even cancer. That's right, your favorite guilty pleasure might be guilty of a whole lot worse. But don't worry, this isn't a guilt trip. It's a wake-up call. Let's pull back the wrapper on processed food and see what's really going on. So, what exactly is processed food? In a nutshell, it's anything that's been messed with to make it last longer, taste better, or, let's be honest, be more addictive. We're talking about your chips, your candy, your fast food, your frozen dinners. Basically, anything that comes in a box or a bag and has a shelf life longer than a Kardashian marriage. Now, a little bit of processing isn't necessarily evil. Frozen fruits and veggies, for example, can be a lifesaver. The real villains are the ultra-processed foods, the ones packed with artificial flavors, colors, and preservatives that you can't even pronounce. Convenience often comes with hidden health risks. Processed foods are typically packed with sugar, unhealthy fats, and empty calories, leading to weight gain and obesity. As you gain weight, your risk for numerous health issues increases, including heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and certain cancers. Research in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition revealed that individuals consuming ultra-processed foods ingested an average of 500 more calories daily than those who ate minimally processed foods. That's equivalent to adding an extra cheeseburger to your diet every single day. The heart of the matter. Processed foods are often packed with saturated and trans fats which can raise your cholesterol levels and increase your risk of heart disease. They're also high in sodium which can lead to high blood pressure, another major risk factor for heart problems. In fact, a study published in the journal Circulation found that people who ate the most processed foods had a 79% higher risk of developing heart disease than those who ate the least. So, that bag of chips you're munching on might be sending your heart on a one-way trip to Heartbreak Hotel. Processed Food and Diabetes Processed foods are notorious for their high sugar content, and all that sugar can wreak havoc on your blood sugar levels. These foods are often loaded with hidden sugars, making it easy to consume more than you realize. When you eat a lot of sugar, your body pumps out insulin to help your cells absorb it. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas, and it plays a crucial role in regulating blood sugar levels. Over time, your cells can become resistant to insulin, leading to type 2 diabetes. This means your body needs more insulin to keep blood sugar levels in check, putting extra strain on your pancreas. This chronic condition affects millions of people worldwide and can lead to serious complications, including heart disease, nerve damage, and vision loss. Managing diabetes requires constant monitoring and lifestyle changes. And guess what? Studies have shown a clear link between the consumption of processed foods and an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Researchers emphasize the importance of a balanced diet to mitigate these risks. So, that sugary soda you're sipping might be a recipe for disaster. It's crucial to be mindful of what you consume and make healthier choices to protect your long-term health. The link between processed food and cancer is still being studied, but the evidence is mounting. Researchers are working tirelessly to understand the complex relationship between what we eat and how it affects our health, particularly in terms of cancer risk. Some processed meats, for example, contain nitrates and nitrites, which can form cancer-causing compounds in the body. These compounds, when consumed over long periods, can significantly increase the risk of developing certain types of cancer, such as colorectal cancer. Other processed foods are high in acrylamide, a chemical that forms in starchy foods during high heat cooking and has been linked to an increased risk of certain types of cancer. Acrylamide is found in foods like fried potatoes, baked goods, and even coffee, making it a widespread concern. And then there are all those artificial ingredients and additives that we don't even fully understand the long-term effects of. These additives are used to enhance flavor, preserve shelf life, and improve texture, but their impact on our health remains largely unknown. It's a scary thought, and it's another reason to be mindful of just how much processed food we're putting into our bodies. Being aware of what we consume and making informed choices can help mitigate some of these risks, leading to a healthier lifestyle overall. Tips for a healthier relationship with food Developing a healthier relationship with food is a journey, not a destination. Okay, so we've established that processed food isn't exactly our friend. These foods are often high in unhealthy fats, sugars, and sodium, which can lead to various health issues over time. 
but breaking up with something that's so convenient and readily available can be tough. It's a challenge many of us face daily, especially when we're busy or stressed. Don't worry, we're not suggesting you go cold turkey and become a kale smoothie drinking quinoa loving health guru overnight. Start small. Small, manageable changes can make a big difference over time. Swap out that sugary cereal for a bowl of oatmeal with fruit. Oatmeal is not only filling but also packed with nutrients that can keep you energized throughout the day. Choose grilled chicken over fried. Grilled options are generally lower in fat and calories, making them a healthier choice. Read food labels and be aware of what you're putting into your body. Understanding nutritional information can help you make better choices. Cooking at home more often is a great way to control your ingredients and avoid processed nasties. Plus, it can be a fun and rewarding experience. Remember, you don't have to be perfect. Just try to make healthier choices most of the time. Consistency is key and every small step counts. Your body will thank you for it. Over time, you'll likely notice improvements in your energy levels, mood, and overall well-being.